Welcome to another episode of Small Talk. I'm your host, Jim Gilbert, and with me here in the studio, as usual, is my lovely co-host, Natalie Grace. Happy last day of winter. It is the last day of winter. That means tomorrow is the first day of spring. I'm excited. Eek. Uh, I don't think we had much of a winter this year, but either way, I'm definitely looking forward to the warmer weather, and the days are already longer, which has been nice. Yeah. Let's jump right into current affairs. Um, there's, It's been a busy winter, and one of the things that is new is Natalie has started piano lessons. So mm-hmm. tell us how that's going. So I play the piano. So the first one was Two Black Cats and the marching song, and now I'm doing... Uh, I've just learned piano. Only thing. And we also play a game if we still have time. What else have we been up to? We went to see Lego Batman. Oh, 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 oh. So he goes like, no, 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 no. And he goes up the stairs. And and once he gets up to the stairs, he goes like, no. <laughs> yeah, it was a really funny movie. It was like, no. After he said no, 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 no. So there's this fun run at school, and we run thirty to thirty-five laps, and and our cheer is help my school, and the other and the other cheer is this backyard box office. So this was a fundraiser thing. For the school. Yeah. And you guys were able to raise a good amount of money. So yes! what, what did you get to do after the fun run? Yeah. Jammy day, jammy day, jammy day, jammy day, jammy day, jammy day. So you enjoy jammy day? Yes. Is that because you don't have to put on real clothes? Yes. You just stay in your jammies. Like, ugh, I just wake up with my jammies on and I just have to get my stuff. Like, shoes, coat, backpack, and that's all I have to do. I usually have to get dressed. It takes a while, but that time, it's not take a while. So, Fast. just rolling out of bed in your PJs and slumming it all day? That's more your speed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last weekend, we went to U.S. Bank Arena. The circus was in town, which was the first time you'd been able to experience it. Yeah, but that was the last time it was performing. Ringling Brothers is shutting down. They're not doing the circus anymore, so this is basically a farewell tour. And because of that, we wanted to make sure the kids got to experience it. And so we went down, and it was a really good time. So why don't you talk about the... My favorite part was the mermaids. They were mermaids. So we've been working on uh, quite a few different projects here recently. And the first one we made a video about back right after the first of the year was the 3D printer. Yeah. And so we have here a few examples. Um, Probably one of the most popular recently is this little um, pirate ship. And this is a model I found online. And it was in part to appease Jack, who is obsessed with all things pirate. And he wanted a ship, so I made one. And his was red. Natalie wanted one, so I made this one, which is, of course, blue, because that's her favorite color. So now we can uh, sail on the high seas of our imaginations with that. I also made this uh, tabletop trebuchet, which I haven't actually fired it properly. You're supposed to fill the bucket with, like, ball bearings or nuts or something. Something heavy, something small. But basically the way these work is you have the counterweight and then you have your projectile then you can load this thing up and when you let it go it oh! and it flings it <laughs> so, that was hilarious so we got that i also have this trisected cube it's a cube made up of three identical pieces and they're printed in different colors just to show that they're different and you put it together in a very specific way so if i take this part here You can see here that there are three pieces, they're identical, and 
to put it together, there's a there's this trick to this. You can't just stick them together. It doesn't work. And here I'll show this real quick. I'll show everybody the trick. And then it just goes together that simple. So the other big activity this this winter was what I like to refer to as the purge. And it was a result of Laura getting uh overwhelmed with the stuff in the house the biggest part of that was the basement which is a perpetual dumping ground and it's also where the kids like to go and play and we have our dance parties down there and we wanted to make it more usable so we built a table to help kind of organize this area under the stairs so natalie helped me build the table and she she actually enjoys woodworking so I try and pull her into those things as much as I can. So construction was pretty straightforward, which is why she was able to do so much. The The top was leftover oak plywood that I had, and then we just um, put edge banding on it, which was solid oak to cover up the ugly edges that you get with plywood. And Natalie was able to, to glue that on. We used the air nailer. Do you like using the air nailer? Mm-hmm. And then to put the whole thing together, we used pocket screws, which requires about this much talent and she drilled most of the pocket holes for the screws because it goes in a jig and then she can operate the drill so i think at this point my six-year-old daughter has by far more woodworking experience than most adult men in this country and we fixed the dryer and we fixed the dryer yep so, you know, these are things I'm trying to pull the kids in, um, teach them life skills, and show them that all these things are things that people can do. It builds a bunch of skills, it saves a bunch of money, and in the end, it's just kind of nice to get your hands dirty once in a while, right? Mm-hmm. Natalie has actually been tagging along with me since, I think she was right around nine months old. I just take her with me to the auto parts store to the hardware store walked in i had to get like brake pads or something so i went to the counter and i'm talking to the guy and i just flopped her up on the counter as you do with a nine month old and as he's typing he looks over at her and she's paying attention to what he's doing like she's laser focused on his him typing and working with the computer and he actually made a point of saying wow she's paying attention to this and i hadn't really noticed it but then when I saw her doing it, I thought, yeah, she is. And so kind of noticed that. And then there was different times where I'd go out in the garage and, you know, even little, I'd take her with me. And then eventually she'd follow me around like a little puppy, as they do. There was another time where I had to cut something with the jigsaw and she followed me out in the garage. So I put her up on the, the work table and... I figured that I would start cutting and she would get bothered by the noise or so I start cutting and I'm expecting her to, to react to it and she's just watching. So I finished cutting and she seemed laser focused on what I was doing. So I started to realize even at a, a young age that she was watching what I was doing. So, I mean, at two years old, I was trying to get her involved. And so that's where most of these things have come from is her just being curious what I'm doing and I try and include her. And the funny thing is, is even at a very young age, the stuff that she was able to do was sort of astounding. And at the point now, I mean, she can basically do all the stuff that I do minus the things that are just a little too dangerous, like operating saws. You know, I've let her use a jigsaw cause that one's pretty, pretty tame, but you know, circular saws or table saws or any of those things, those are out. I mean, you, you've done quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And you enjoy it? Yes! 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 So there's a game that we like to play. Yes. I name the color of a hardware store, and she tells me which hardware store it is so because she's been in all of them. So it's like, do it. So we're going to do this in a straight cut so there's no tomfoolery, so you can see that she actually knows these. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Blue. Lowe's. Orange. Home Depot. Green. Menards. Red. Ace. High five. So that's how we do it. That's what we do. We spend our weekends at the hardware store. Laura's been teaching Natalie about directions and how to read a compass. So we got Natalie this compass. And this is so cool. The best part. So the bezel turns. Which way is the arrow pointing? 
North. We're done. Are um, we? Good night. Well, on that note, we'll sign off here, and we'll say, everybody, have a good night.